Hello everyone and welcome back to Flames Plays and new series day. So today I decided to uh, give Slender the Arrival a try and it's a game that came out a while ago. Uh, of course based upon, let me just click start game while we wait. With Oakside housing prices on the rise, many long time residents are putting their homes up for sales in hopes of gain- Okay that was not fast enough. Alright. I'm go through what I, uh, I assume is a cutscene. So often are we guided by our devotion, our love, our affection. A bond that pulls us down paths not bargained. And when you find yourself alone, as he casts, right, as he cast out, okay, how far will it carry you? Okay, so we're, we're actually in the game. All right, so while we play, I'll I'll talk about Slenderman, pretty much what he is. But Slenderman was basically one of the original creepypastas. Um, and basically started out of a, I believe it was something awful. They had a forum post where they were asking for paranormal pictures based upon, or paranormal Photoshop battles, basically. Lou Alice you probably presents. So, uh, Slenderman was basically just a slightly taller than normal human looking figure with uh, long spindly arms, long legs, and sometimes pictured with tentacles for some un really unreally known will unknown reason um, I've never been really clear on that why he needs tentacles to make him creepy but sure why not uh, and this is actually one of the few is that at least the only one I'm, I'm aware of like big name games that came out but the actual production value sold on Steam all that stuff now there were other games such as slender the eight pages and a whole bunch of creepypasta games that came out of that in that kind of vein. I open up this car door. No, we cannot. But uh, this is the actual first one with like a, a coherent story that <laughs> plays out over the course of the game. I mean, for a game that came out, I think for some reason I'm thinking 2014. I, I can double check that later on. But for a game that came out in 2014, this is actually a good looking game. Uh, it is a Unity engine game, so some of these could be stock assets, and I mean, for one, the bump texture on the tree is very, very lacking, very squarish, but you're not really designed to go up towards trees like that. It's not in horror games. Oh wow, that's actually a really cool transition, so we basically, um, we basically went to the, when we got out of the car it was still daylight, and now it's actually transitioning to like a dusk looking color. I really like that. Camera overlay reminds me a lot. Okay, we just Hello? I stopped moving. Why'd you why is there still noise? So uh the camera vignette not vignette, um the camera overlay really reminds me oh there's Slenderman himself. Click le or left click to interact with highlighted objects. Cool. It reminds me of Outlast a lot, to be honest. Which is kind of cool. I mean, Outlast is a good game. The phone line appears to be dead. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once it's all behind me. Love you always, Kate. I know I have your scrapbook. You can be viewed at a later time from the main menu. Okay. You don't have a flashlight. Okay, so I... I don't know why I assumed my camera would have a flashlight, but sure. Or if not a flashlight, some sort of... Okay. If not a flashlight, some sort of... Night vision style thing. Honoring the life of Beth Hayes. October 8th, 18th, 2009, 9 a.m. Grace Hill Cemetery, 615 Emerson Street, Pastor John Taylor. Hey, flashlight, batteries, extra tapes, lighter, kerosene, lock the house. Well, you didn't do a good job of that one, that's for sure. Since I got in here with no problem whatsoever. I'm just going to keep these windows closed, because that sounds like it could be a good idea. Rational thought says keep things closed. Two. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear a voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well, too. But yeah, about what what all we said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. 
What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what she says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Oh, that's great. So, Doc, I'm seeing things, and I just want to be made aware. I thought those were donuts. <laughs> I just want you. I just want to be aware that other people are seeing the same things I'm seeing that aren't there. So, God, I keep forgetting. We don't have a flashlight. Okay. It's kind of weird, to be honest. Hmm. Well, I guess we are going to go up on stairs. And then the stairs upstairs. Stairs upstairs. Now we have the stairs in the foyer. That's what fancy people call that thing. Okay. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, see, diddly squat in there, so I guess we're going this way. This door needs a key. Of course it does. I can't see in this room at all. I think I'm stuck on something. Okay, eventually, there we go. We made it there finally. Do I need to go through the cabinet? Oh, hi. Hey, Kate. It's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? I hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is an old-fashioned. Writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when we'd, I'd sneak over at night so we can both go on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. we shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could re rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. Uh, how long has it been again? It's been at least a couple of years, wasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. Maybe she actually knew about us sneaking in all the time. Guess we'll never... Sorry, ignore all that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just want to check in. CR. Okay, so we have another, we have another note. There's got to be a flashlight somewhere. Oh! I'm a derp. I missed this flashlight. I derped it. This sounds familiar. Oh, it's gonna shoot me to a master pianist. A pianist. Which sounds like a dirty word, but isn't. So they're doing the standard horror. Lock your. Why do I seem. Why am I short? This, this toilet should not be this high up, right? Can't look. I also can't look down all the way, but. Like, I need a freaking. I need mountain climbing gear to climb into this tub. That's. Weird. Okay. So. We are still looking for a key of sorts. That's a pretty cool bag. I actually like that. Not sure if it's a logo to some brand or something I'm not aware of, but. I thought I was looking for a key, but it appears that instead I'm getting lost in a single room. How is there nothing in here? Why would you make a room like this? I mean, in terms of game to play, like gameplay wise, if it doesn't serve a function, why? Oh, there's more stuff here. Yeah, y'all. I thought that was the only dark room. I was gonna say, why would you make the only dark room have nothing in it? There you go. We've got Kate's keys. And some kind of transformer looking thing. It seems this game seems kinda of like there's something off about the game really. Because Oh! Can you unlock the door? Okay. See this is kinda of creepy. There's something off about the game. Oh, that's that window's broken too. There's something creepy about this game because, like, it's locking my view sight so much and I can't look down all the way and everything seems bigger. Like, I seem like I'm a child. Uh, to the woods. 
Uh, okay. The fuck? Oh, hi. Hello. So, alright, that was Slendy, as you just saw. And... Slenderman is the big spooky guy in the game, pretty much. I, th I think he's... Yeah. To be honest, I don't play this game, so I really don't know like where he ties into it all. But generally, Slenderman is like something you just see in the corner of your eye most times. And he makes like your screen go all fuzzy, and when you die... Hi. But it, see, I, I can understand why they're going with the camera aesthetic at this point. Since it doesn't make sense if Slender Man actually made your eyesight go fuzzy, really. Um, seeing as there's a red light here, I'm assuming we can go check this out. Oh, okay. Oh, we're turning on lights. That's clever. Although, to be honest, having played Slender Man games in the past, I have a feeling that this is just going to be one giant fetch quest after another. Find the eight pages. Hi, Slendy. How you doing, buddy? You just, you just gonna stand up there? Oh, okay, now you, now you're gonna teleport. That's cool. This is a long ass hill to go up. There you go. I think I missed Slender again. Another generator. We're making progress. We're making progress. Alright, and that's the lights that probably turns on. We're kind of just following generators and lights. For a while, games. Like I said before, the previous games were basically just. Are right, we gonna fall in the water? No, oh, we're not. Okay. Previous games were basically just, hey, find these, you're done. Don't die on the way. And this seems actually like they're trying to lead me somewhere. Where to? I have no idea. We're gonna, we're gonna go. Slowly but surely. We're gonna waddle our way through. Hi. Right there. All right. Well, we gotta check this house out, of course. You can't just show up, show us a house with an open door, and say, "Yeah, don't go in there." We're going to check it out for things. I mean, granted, it'll probably be nothing. But what kind of adventures, adventure, adventurers would we be? All right. Yeah, I found Diddly. Like li literally, Diddly, nothing. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna cool up with the random twitchings of the camera. Can't be good for the battery. Or for the screen, really. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things it's probably not good for, to be honest. Doesn't look like it's on, really. To be completely honest. Alright, so we came down. Okay, so we came through this way. I'm assuming we would go that way and then do this light, but there's nothing here that doesn't go on any further. Nothing around here it seems. Except for a hill of sorts. Yep. And a fence that goes into said hill. Oh hi. Hello Slandy. Would you mind pointing us to which direction to go? Okay, nope, you don't wanna you don't wanna show up? Understandable. I, I get it. You're shy. No. 
Not everyone, and everyone's made out to to start making less plays and show their face and everything like that. Some people just don't want to do it. And, you know, it's understandable. I don't, I don't really blame you. Because I thought that maybe you like to say hello, maybe say a few nice words to the people who are watching this, and maybe maybe tell us why you want to be such a spooper. Alright, I guess I'll. There's gotta be something in the house that I missed. But we will continue in the next video. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure where this goes, to be honest. I've never played the game or actually even watched it. So I'm just gonna run through it, hopefully. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like a not, not too long of a game, but we'll see. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. L leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you're subscribed so you get your member of the bonfire and you get updated when I release new content. And remember to just have a great day and burn bright. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.